So the, the general perception when you say reporting is you're looking at a set of data that has happened, right? 2023 is over. Let's analyze what happened in 2023. Mm -hmm. There's no, no new data coming in, right? The year is over. And you look at all of the data and you do all of your type of analysis. And then the report is an actual piece of paper that shows you the graphs alongside with the conclusion, right? The storytelling part. This is what we found out. Uh, and that's part of our job. We sometimes do it, but mostly I would say our job is related to what I would call operational reports. Operational reports meaning that you're looking at data that is much more fresh. I would say on average, maybe 85% of the cases are done on a daily batch. So the next morning you come in the office, you can see what happened yesterday. Okay. Every day we're reloading this data and refreshing these reports. And this brings some extra challenges because opposed to having you know, the data set that is not gonna change, you know exactly how charts are gonna look, how are they gonna uh, be perceived. When there's new data and you know, don't know how that data is gonna show, you also don't know how the charts are gonna show. So we kind of have to prepare for that to be a bit more uh, lenient with the, with the story and let people, especially people that are more adept in the industry we're working on, find the story themselves. But of course, whenever we, uh, we are possible to also add the storytelling element, we, uh, we try to do that. Yeah, so the storytelling element would be the conclusion. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah, good, yeah. it's bad, it's growing, it's not growing, you're doing better than the competition. Overall, the whole, the whole way you pack that information, the chart alongside the, the, the little text that pinpoints you to that exact conclusion. Yeah. Or maybe even some actions that might be recommended uh, as a consequence of the data, right? Like, you, you, should, you should do this. Exactly, exactly. If you're lucky enough to be able to do uh, prescriptive analytics, uh, which is exactly what you're referring to, then yes, also okay, so suggestion. I just found out how they're called. So descriptive is when you, you just tell what, what happened. Tell me what happened. So the, the second one would be sort of like forecasting. You're, you're trying to predict, so predictive, what's going to happen next. And prescriptive is not only what's going to happen next, but what, also what you should do to get the outcome you're, uh, you're looking at. But prescriptive, I would say, is more also in the territory of our colleagues from data science where machine learning models can give you more accurate uh, predictions of what's, uh, what's going to occur.